It's very important that we have this department now, at this current time. because our nation needs the kinds of knowledge that this department produces and will continue to produce. Columbia has a long-standing tradition of what we would call now African-American studies and black studies, you know, going back to the days of Franz Boas, but even in particular after 1968. We see ourselves as a Harlem institution. I mean, African-American studies at Columbia joins the Schomburg and Harlem Stage and the Studio Museum and all of those like august Harlem institutions of intellectuals from the United States, the Caribbean and Africa, um, all of whom are committed to the very best scholarly work. We now join them as a full-fledged department at the university. I think it will be a hub for faculty who are working on a range of, of topics and disciplines, but I think it will also give undergraduate students, master's level students, and hopefully doctoral students also a hub and a home for future studies. What attracted me to come here to Columbia University was the robust programming that was already in place. I was a part of Manning Marable's class that interrogated Malcolm X's life and its legacy, and I had the most significant experience that has put me on the pathway where I am now as a professor in Africana Studies. One of the great things about uh, being here at Columbia is it, it's really easy to get your students uh, engaged in research. And I think the promise of the new department uh, and what makes maybe Columbia unique is the fact that someone like me who's an architect is actually part of that department or you have someone from journalism like Jelani Cobb and June Cross who've been research fellows but who can also be engaged in the department or you have Kelly Jones who's an art historian involved and I, and I think that will make uh, the new department actually quite unique. For example many of us are interested in black feminist perspectives like how do you make that a forefront in um, a mission statement and how you start to craft curriculum. Columbia is coming to this moment a bit later than other even peer institutions, but I think that's a good thing because it's going to allow us to kind of do things differently from a curricular standpoint, from an institutional standpoint, than perhaps that have been done before at other Ivy institutions or at public institutions. So we've got a deep and extraordinary bench of scholars, potential leaders of the department, but you know, people who are very committed to teaching and to producing very exciting, um, innovative scholarship. It's, it's a wonderful time to be at Columbia.